After years of speculation, a slew of controversies at Gearbox, and a series of disappointing releases as both developer and publisher, Borderlands 3 has finally surfaced some seven years after the second game, a brief detour with the pre-sequel in 2014 notwithstanding. Taking a bigger is better approach to development, the newest looter shooter takes you across a galaxy shooting more enemies than you can shake a stick at, and, of course, collecting all the guns. And though fans of the series will likely find plenty to enjoy with the prequel, the glutton of this threatens to prove divisive amongst gamers, and certainly won't convert those not enamoured with the series. Borderlands 3 perhaps has the most in-depth story of the series, continuing on from the end of the previous game, with Handsome Jack and Hyperion Toast, the discovery of multiple vaults throughout the galaxy, and the uprising of the cult Children of the Vault, led by the obnoxiously hollow Calypso Twins, it's up to four new Vault Hunters to help series regular Lilith to stop the plans of these social media pariahs. Fans of the series will likely enjoy the many returns throughout, including characters from Tales from the Borderlands, and while the core villains do little to help motivate the player, it still proves a decent yarn. If you've looted through previous games, this one will prove familiar. As you begin in Pandora, the curve in this one is particularly steep, with the combination of plentiful enemies and poor weapon drops making it a tough going. Eventually, once you nab your hands on some decent armaments, the frantic and explosive combat remains pleasing, while the mix of RPG elements and loot collecting prove worthwhile still. The biggest changes come to classes, with four new characters available. Flat can utilise creatures to aid them, Amara serves as the Siren, Mose can summon a mech suit while changing weapons equipped to it, and Zane serves as a sniper of sorts. But these are incredibly fluid as each character comes with three class trees, which let you create unique builds. Flak, for example, can be turned into an invisible weapon of death, as certain abilities allow you to upgrade their skill, and, combined with critical shotgun damage, can turn bosses into ash quickly. This makes choosing both your class and upgrades very important, and easily the deepest character upgrading of the series. Ah, it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? Borderlands 3 is by far the biggest game of the series, which is both its most notable feat and Achilles' heel. No longer confined to simply Pandora, you can eventually travel to multiple planets, including the jungle-infested Eden 6, the neon-tinted Promethea, and Athenus, a monastic area with temples and ancient structures. The areas do feel distinct, and the revamped fast travel allows you to instantly warp between both your ship and points on each map. There are plentiful amounts of side quests, which vary in quality, as well as collectibles and challenges, such as hunting big game creatures for Hammerlock. Despite this, Borderlands 3 kind of becomes a slog towards the end especially when the game teases reaching its conclusion, only to pull the rug out from under your feet multiple times. Fans of the series should be able to keep with it, but you can imagine how those not enamoured to the series would feel. Some stuff feels like ticking off a checklist, rather than exploring the great unknown, and it's a shame, because the expanded scope makes sense in the context of the story, but this seems to punctuate nagging issues with the series. Post-game has also seen great expansion. Mayhem mode lets you increase the levels of enemies throughout the world, 
with three levels upping the enemy's strength, loot drops and potential for extra leveling. It's a nice addition to those looking to reach the level 50 cap, but true Vault Hunter mode is also available upon your first completion, allowing you to replay the entire game with extra rewards for more challenge. You can not only play through the entire game with three other players, but also matchmake to partake in the Circles of Slaughter, a series of waves which see you fighting increasingly challenging enemies. But with such a density of content available, the replays aren't quite as enticing this time around, simply for how long it takes to complete the game. Even if you avoid side content, you're all likely to spend 30 hours to reach the end. Borderlands 3 definitely enjoys a visual upgrade, though it comes with a lack of polish. Everything pops with more colour, the cell shaded style is still appealing, environments are perhaps some of the most intricate of the series, and the very palettes of each planet keeps things fresh. Sadly, the performance can chug at points, the load times feel quite excessive, and weird issues such as clipping through a floor after a cutscene are disappointing. The sound is mixed, as while Jesper Kidd delivers a fantastic and varied soundtrack, the voice work can be very spotty, and the humour is uneven at the best of times. At one point, for example, a character continuously makes animal mating noises through your comms until you clear the area. Some jokes do hit the mark though, and the pop culture gags are generally harmless. Borderlands 3 is inarguably the biggest entry of the series, for better and for worse. While fans should delight in the expanded story, the litany of planets to loot, and the plethora of shooting to be done, those not enamoured with Gearbox's first person shooter series will likely find it more tiring than enjoyable. Even fans may feel fatigue, as the sheer length and the inconsistency of its mission design contribute to a sense of diminishing returns. But with fantastic character classes, plenty of awesome sequences, and addictively explosive combat, it's still a good time for those willing to begin a long trek. And if you bring some friends along as well, it's even better. It's just a shame that, in expanding the scope of the series so significantly, it seems to have amplified some nagging ailments with Borderlands as a whole.